In focus this week is one of Sri Lanka women's most consistent bowlers. Just on the outskirts of its busy capital Colombo, we hitched a ride with veteran Chamani Seneviratne. The spinner gave us a lift to her home where we were introduced to her extended family, relaxing on a lazy afternoon. But we got straight to business by first asking her to return to the event that is still fresh in everyone's mind. Sri Lanka's exploits in this year's ICC Women's World Cup in India. Oh, in the we were determined to defeat a very powerful team one day with a good fight. We had that in mind when we left Sri Lanka for this tournament. Our main aim was to beat India because they were on top of the game. And we beat the world number one ranked England too. Those were really big victories where our batters and bowlers performed equally well with a lot of dedication. Sri Lanka's history-making win against England and India threw Chamani and her teammates into the limelight. The 34-year-old ended the tournament with 11 wickets, including five in the Super Sixes and the playoffs against South Africa, helping Sri Lanka to fifth spot in the ICC Women's World Cup 2013. But none of that would have happened had Chamani not been an inquisitive child. There weren't any female cricket teams in my school. I used to play cricket in front of my house with my younger brothers. But the neighbouring school, Swanapali Girls School, had a team. When I was about 15 years old, while watching the school team train, a teacher named Patma asked me to come and join them. From then on, it was the beginning of a long journey. Chamani's family was so impressed by her determination and skill, they decided to help her pursue her dreams. She always loved to play cricket. I remember when she was growing up, she mainly played with the boys. I knew she would do well in the sport. So after she finished school, I sent her to Colombo, where she started training at the Colts Cricket Club. During that time, we had to bear all expenses, including coaching fees and even lodging. Chimani began as a fast bowler and she was one of the pioneers in the women's side. Sri Lanka's one-day international debut came in 1997 against the Netherlands. Chimani was off to a good start with two wickets in her first game. The Dutch got a taste of her pace once again when she sent three of its batters packing in Sri Lanka's inaugural ICC Women's Cricket World Cup appearance in India that same year. Not satisfied with causing damage with the ball, 12 months later and still only 19 years of age, she decided to try her hand at batting. My role in the team was a fast bowler. I told the coach that I would also like to bat. So he promoted me to the middle order. He believed I could perform well that day. I became the second youngest to hit a century after England's Charlotte Edwards. That unbeaten knock of 105 against Pakistan was Sri Lanka's only century in women's test cricket. The teenager also walked away with five wickets in that game. But despite the stellar start to her career, she would face some hardships along the way. A knee injury ruled her out of the ICC Women's Cricket World Cup in 2009. It also meant she had to radically rethink how she bowled. I think her determination has got her to where she is now and uh, any given time she's always give, she gives 100% on the field. We miss her as a fast bowler. Since she had a knee injury, she uh, took up to spin bowling. I think she has done a magnificent job uh, by switching uh, from fast to spin. Still there is no difference. Uh, I think you tell her, you give her the ball, she'll, the captain gives her the ball, I think uh, she will do exactly what you tell her to do. I think um, having someone like that in the side is an asset. The newly converted spinner claimed her first two victims when Sri Lanka toured the West Indies in April 2010. And although the Sri Lankans lost to New Zealand in the group stage of the ICC Women's World 2020 a month later, Chumani collected four wickets against the Kiwis. From pacer to spinner, the winner of the recent Sri Lanka Cricket Best Bowler Award is currently ranked ninth in the Reliance ICC Women's Rankings for ODI Bowlers. She's the only Sri Lanka female bowler in the top 10. For Chumani, the start of the journey was challenging and dotted with obstacles, but her hard work and determination is paying off. Mama, My family members were the only ones supporting me when I came to Colombo. When I joined MAS Holdings, the salary helped me with my expenses. Now I play for Sri Lanka Air Force that are very supportive of the players. 
Sri Lanka Cricket have also awarded us contracts. I am able to support my family with these. Even if I can't fulfil all our needs, I'll manage with what I get. We're very happy that she's now in such a good position. I'm retired and from the income she's getting, she's looking after us well. She even built this house with the money she earned. Chumani is giving back to the cricket community. Together with her fellow teammates, she often drops by Sri Lanka's development squad training sessions to share her experience and knowledge with the future stars of women's cricket. We'll have to keep them engaged in playing cricket, at least with minor teams, because cricketing skills will only improve if you play more matches. And with proper training, the development squad can be lifted up to a higher level. With the Sri Lankan women qualified once again for next year's ICC Women's World 2020 in Bangladesh, Chamani is determined to make another impact. But the spinner is also looking ahead to another set of goals. My long-term plan is to see my team ranked among the top three. And I want to serve my country as a good cricket coach after I retire from playing cricket. Having gone through so much to get where she is now, Chumani Senevarani is certainly an inspiration to the younger players and a motivation to her teammates. The 34-year-old is not yet ready to hang up her boots. But when the time comes, Sri Lanka cricket know they have someone to depend on to guide their next generation of women cricketers.